Hi guys, so it seems to be that no matter the question, Brexit is now the answer, even though it is clear that leaving the European Union has been an unmitigated disaster. That doesn't mean the Tory MPs and ministers will not try to sell the public the idea that it has been a success. This type of behaviour was used back in 2019 in the run-up to the election. NHS waiting lists? Get Brexit done. Lack of jobs? Get Brexit done. Rising use of food banks? Get Brexit done. Well, it seems even breaching the rules during the pandemic results in... What do you think? Thank you, Mr Speaker. From their early work of prorogation to daily revelations now about these lockdown-busting parties, this government has had its fair few brushes with the rule of law. And I know she can't comment on an ongoing criminal investigation, but I wondered if the Attorney General could tell us that if, when this investigation is concluded, all the 50 email questionnaires come back, anyone is found to have breached lockdown re regulations, whatever their rank, can she confirm that they will face the same consequences as Joe Public did? And further to my honourable friend from Liverpool Wharton's question, if there's breaches of the ministerial code, will there be resignations? Yeah. Turn General. Well, the Prime Minister has made his position clear. I'm not going to add any more in light of the live police investigation, but she mentions the rule of law, and I would just say that fundamental to the rule of law is also democracy. And I'm very proud to be supporting this Prime Minister, a Prime Minister who's honoured democracy by delivering Brexit. <laughs> this is it. So we've moved from um, people have to be punished because they broke the rules during the pandemic to Boris Johnson is honouring democracy by delivering Brexit. A Prime Minister who's now leading not just the UK, but the world in beating COVID. Mr Speaker. The Prime Minister is leading the world in beating COVID. How has he beaten it? Beaten it? Are cases down to zero? No, they're not. And this is something we're all in together. This is not, okay, one country has defeated it and then it goes off on its own. No, we're on the same planet. This is insane. Had the party opposite been in charge, they would have cancelled Brexit. If the party in charge, ha the, the party opposite had been in charge, they would have cancelled Brexit. I don't think they would have actually cancelled Brexit. They would have had another referendum, hopefully, though that was on the cards, another referendum. It wouldn't have been them cancelling Brexit. It would have been the people cancelling Brexit. You can't turn around and talk about democracy and then blame the Labour Party if Brexit got cancelled. It would have been the people deciding. The people, the people's vote. That's what it was about at the time. Not delivered it. We would have been in more lockdown, not less. There's no evidence to back that. You have no evidence to support the claim that if Labour had been in power, there would have been more lockdowns. Uh, maybe there would have been a better lockdown at the beginning, earlier, that would have ended sooner. And then it wouldn't have been necessary to go into other lockdowns. But because Boris Johnson dragged his feet, initiated the lockdown too late, ended it too soon, that meant other lockdowns were necessary. This is insane. But back to the point of Brexit, this is now, it seems to be, the modus operandi of the government. Any type of problem that's raised, Brexit is the answer. And it's just going to get worse. It's real Trumpian. Uh, it's right out of the Trump playbook this. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.